Today I'm going to be performing the celebrity elbow tuck. It's kind of like a tummy tuck for the tummy or a facelift for the face, for the elbow. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, good morning. Today I'm going to be operating on Leticia. Can you have you stand up? I think that's a little bit better. Leticia, like most women I've consulted with and done this procedure on, is conscientious about wearing short sleeve shirts. Her elbows are one of the things that kind of gives her age away. Okay, so I made an incision over the top and the bottom part of the, that moon-shaped crescent, and now I'm just excising the skin. So this piece down here is more of a straight cut. This piece here is more of a curvilinear cut. And the whole procedure it takes about 20 minutes. Now right, we're gonna stitch everything together. So just with three stitches in there, we basically have all the strength of the closure done. The rest is just for finesse and making it look pretty. That's it, we'll clean off the soap, get your bandage up and wrapped up, and then you can drive yourself home. That was a lot easier than I thought. Really fast, really quick, really simple, um, and no pain. I think she's gonna be super happy with the result, yeah. Please welcome Leticia, along with her plastic surgeon, Dr. Ryan Stanton. <laughs> I'll tell you, we've heard of tummy... elbow lifts. How do you like that? Ne you never go. heard of that before. Well, and to be you, honest, you know, mm -hmm. any any time that you have a joint, whether it be the knee, yeah. the elbow, the neck, where we're moving it all the time, you're going to form that excess skin. And Latisa, you're relatively young. Typically, we see that more in an older patient, older older men and women, and it bothers them. And I guess it bothered you, something you inherited from your mother, right? My mother and my, I mean, I have, I have six older sisters, and so I'm seeing them age and get older, and I'm still on the younger end. I want to stay on the younger end, yeah. And, and Dr. Stanton, you've been doing this three to four years now, right? Yeah, this is the technique I've found to work the best and give people, you know, early range of motion. Not too many people can be out of work or out of moving their elbow, even to brush their teeth or wash their hair for more than a couple of days. You showed it so yeah. nicely there in your video, Dr. Stanton, that all you're doing is removing this wedge, correct? Yeah, yeah. Of, of excess, and you did it right in the treatment room, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, it can be done and, in the exam room, and I have the luxury of having the operating room. So, so I that wedge that. of redundant tissue that you've carefully measured comes off, right? Yeah. And then you carefully sewed all the layers, and voila, this whole section of excess is eliminated simply in the exam room, dissolvable stitches. And you want, you want this to be done by someone who knows what they're doing because since the skin's over a joint, obviously, yeah. Yeah. tragic things could happen if you took away too much skin. I mean, yeah. it's a well, joint. There's a lot of movement Travis, there, so. that's our axiom in plastic surgery. It's not what you take away. It's what you leave behind. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> so in this case, like everything else, it's the markings are key. You want to make sure that you, you remove as much as you can safely so you can still move your elbow. Yeah, and so let's take a look. Let's take a look at Leticia's elbows before the surgery. And let's get a peek now how you're looking now after the surgery. Wow. Wow, wow yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, Leticia, we're happy that you're happy. Dr. Stan, thank you so much for sharing this procedure with us.